Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, I've promised this video for a long time. You may know that I've done a couple of videos already on social media is killing your Etsy store and why you shouldn't be sending social media traffic to your Etsy store. It caused a bit of a kerfuffle. Um, some people understood it, some people didn't understand it. I then did a second video on social media is killing your Etsy store and more people understood it but still a certain number didn't understand it and some people got angry um, for various reasons about what I was saying. So I promised everybody that I would do a classroom example to fully explain it once and for all so that everyone can understand why I'm saying don't send social media traffic to your Etsy store, especially when you have a new or growing store. It's absolutely critical. So let's get into it. Let's um, understand why I'm telling you this. So the first thing to understand is this diagram here. So this is the Etsy platform. Everything inside the circle is Etsy. This line of four square blocks are your products. We're going to talk about these in a minute. These are your products. So we'll put YP. These three blocks are social media and we'll talk about those in a little while and all these little blocks over here are all products on Etsy so your products I know you don't have four products probably not you might have 10 50 500 just think of this as your products this is social media and for social media I think what we'll do is put in here Instagram TikTok, Pinterest. There are others, but a lot of people are using these platforms um, to promote their Etsy stores. So let's understand this once and for all. First of all, let's understand how visibility is created inside Etsy. Why you should be trusting Etsy to bring you traffic and not social media. So Etsy is a closed quality score ecosystem. You will have heard of quality score. When you sell products on Etsy, you get given quality score. So we have to understand what this does to your products. When you make a sale inside Etsy, let's just say you sold this product here, okay? So you made a sale. Etsy, because you made the sale inside Etsy's quality, quality score ecosystem. It only exists inside Etsy. So Etsy, once you've made this sale on the platform, sends your product a unit of quality score. That product's visibility is increased. Your product on Etsy is in a constant race with every other product on the platform. So your product is racing, it's a never ending race. The more products that sell inside Etsy's ecosystem of quality score, the higher up your position against all other products on the platform. This is also the reason, by the way, if you don't understand it, why vacation mode kills stores that are not at the front of the race. If you've got thousands and thousands of sales and you're doing really well, you can go on vacation mode. But if you're not doing well, you're a new store or a growing store, vacation mode can be catastrophic. So this is why people say, oh, I'm fine with vacation mode. Yes, you're fine because you're at the front of the race. So this is the first thing to understand. Your products are racing cars. Every product is a car. It gets its fuel from Etsy. That's where the fuel comes from, inside Etsy. So I'm hoping this is making sense to you. The only way you become more visible is getting these sales inside Etsy to your products so that they travel up the race. Okay, now let's bring in social media into the equation. So let's just say you're sending Pinterest traffic to your products, to your store. 
So this is actually how it looks. The traffic comes from Pinterest inside Etsy's closed quality score ecosystem. So the traffic comes into Etsy and then let's just say from that traffic, it went to this listing here. You made a sale here to this product via Pinterest. So Etsy saw the traffic come in, it, it breached, it entered Etsy's ecosystem and then this product sold. Well, the problem Etsy's got is it cannot, it just cannot reward this product with the green quality score. So it stays red. I know I've crossed it out, but it stays red. This product did not get any quality score, the green fuel for the sale that came from Pinterest. Therefore, this sale did not keep you increasing or staying pace with all the other products on Etsy. So that's one sale, just one sale. Now, imagine if other sales are coming in to Etsy from your social media. Every time, every time a product sells from social media that you send the traffic, you're just falling further and further behind in this never ending race against all other products. So you can see that this is a massive problem. And I guess it took this visual example to explain it so that it makes sense to most people. I'm really hoping now that most people get it. If you still don't understand it, let me know in the comments. But this should make sense to most of you. So the final piece of this puzzle is where, where, do you send social media traffic? Now, people got angry with me about this because they've invested so much time into social media. Five, 10, 15, 20 hours a week and more is the reality of what it means to use social media for Etsy. And people who put this time and effort in are quite rightly annoyed because they think, oh, I've spent all this time grinding away on Instagram, on TikTok or Pinterest. And now you're telling me that the traffic I'm sending is actually harmful to my Etsy store. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There is no green fuel from this traffic. But look, why would you want to send social media traffic when it's so damaging? It's like advertising traffic. Don't send it to Etsy. It's got to go to your website. So send social media traffic to your website where you get full reward from all that effort you're putting in. Because when you send it to Etsy, there's no fuel. Yes, you'll make a sale. I'm not saying that you won't make a sale from social media traffic. No, you will. But there is no fuel. Send it to your website then you get full reward from the traffic you get the link from social media to your product the traffic comes in and you make more money because you're not paying etsy its fees for selling your product so if you're going to do social media think immediately to send all this traffic to your website keep etsy and your sales internal in this ecosystem, it only works inside Etsy. Etsy, listen to this, Etsy could never reward sales from Instagram, TikTok, or Pinterest. Why? Because you could manipulate, you could manipulate this system, this visibility system that Etsy's created, you could pay somebody on Instagram, for example, 
few hundred dollars to run some stories and some posts over a weekend that the influencers in your niche traffic then comes in comes into your into your store you make loads of sales on your product but if it was green fuel coming in meaning etsy allowed you to do this your products would fly shoot up the rankings if you spent three or four hundred dollars on a, a social media influencer to promote you you're going to make 30 40 50 sales maybe more depending on their their followers and their their engagement and if that was rewarded by etsy you can just game the system so when etsy tells you think about this critically when etsy tells you to use social media you can see it in your shop manager go in there right now there's a banner at the top showing you your etsy store address for you to use the social media so lots of people criticized me in the previous two videos saying well nick etsy's telling us to use it they wouldn't lie to us Let's think about this. Of course they want you to use social media. They're not going to reward you for it. There's red lines everywhere. They can't reward you for it. But you are promoting their website for free. It's the best advertising they could get. Millions and millions of sellers killing themselves to get more traffic because they think it's going to help their store. No, the only people it helps is Etsy. They get free traffic, free recognition. You're basically saying, look, here's Etsy, here's Etsy. Come to Etsy, even though you're trying to get them to your store. So clear why they're doing this. They're doing it for themselves, not for you. Remember, you are a byproduct of their process. If it happens to help you, brilliant, they'll take the credit for you. But they're never going to admit that it's going to cause a problem, but it does. I've worked with so many social media addicted stores with low inventory, 20 items, 30 items, and cannot get going because they are addicted to social media traffic that gives them no boost, no fuel to move up in the internal closed Etsy ecosystem. So I hope this makes sense to you and I hope you understand why I'm so passionate about you not sending social media traffic to Etsy. Let me know in the comments if this now cleared it up for you. So if you were on the fence about what I said before, let me know if this makes sense to you now. Let me know your thoughts in general about this. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to uh, seeing you again in the next video. Cheers.